Oh my gosh, what is happening? Don't bake your skin, bake banish. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the acne channel. Callie here, my face story on Instagram for you, those of you that do not know me. It has been a minute. I feel like it's been so long. So yeah, a lot of stuff happening in my life. A lot of thoughts going around in my head. So I thought today we would just do a little bit of a chit chat get ready with me and talk to you guys just a little bit about oh, how I've been feeling, what's been going on, everything. So as you guys can see, my skin looks amazing. Like it's been doing so good. I went about five months without any cysts at all. And then I've been traveling a lot. I don't know if it's not eating the best. I don't know if it's the air from traveling. I don't know if it's because I used a towel to wipe my face instead of paper towels. I know that's not economically friendly but paper towels like don't break me out but towels do i don't know weird anyways i have a cyst <laughs> hello mm, great but yeah it's been a while it's been about four or five months but we'll get into that i feel like there's just been a lot going on in my life psychologically and i know that stress is my biggest trigger so yeah i mean i can deal with one cyst it's fine so <laughs> let's get ready Today I'm just doing like a normal makeup look, I guess. I'm starting with the First Aid Beauty uh, Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. And I'm just gonna go like this and pull it like this. Just to highlight the places that would stand out. Oh yeah, and I already did all my skincare for the morning, so. And then I'm using this Real Techniques Beauty Blender. So yeah, I... It has been good, obviously, not breaking out, but because acne has been such a large part of my identity for so long, I've been feeling kind of like lost. I mean, it's been a while now. It's been, again, like five or six months that I haven't really been breaking out except for this, <laughs> hello. And then, you know, not being in school the same amount of time, about five or six months, which is probably honestly related because of stress. But I feel like I've been kind of doing some soul searching and like trying to figure out who I am because for such a long time, both school, honestly, and acne have taken up a huge chunk of my life, have taken up a lot of my energy and a lot of my mind power. You know, like every day when you're breaking out or if you get a new pimple, you're researching, does this cause breakouts? Does this cause breakouts? What can I do for breakouts? I feel like I spent so much time researching and so much time was devoted to my skin. I literally like, in a way, by like preaching about skin and how you shouldn't let it control your life, in a way I kind of let it control my life, honestly. So I've been trying not to do that, but it's just hard because it was like such a big part of my life for like five or six years and with school and all of that, and now I don't have any of that going on. I'm kind of like, okay, now what? Now who, who am I? What am I doing? What do I want to do with my life? And kind of feeling like a little bit lost, honestly, and confused and not really sure what I want to do. So yeah, it's been honest, it's been kind of hard. So now I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Glow, and this is in shade 202. With the L'Oreal Pro Matte in shade 102, I like to mix the two because I feel like this one's too dewy and this one's too dry, but together, girl, they're perfect. So, we are going to do a little mixy mix. I just mix it on my hand with my Beauty Blender. So I'm just gonna mix it like this. Just like that. And then we're gonna tappy tap tap. Tappy tap tap. So yeah, I have just been feeling kind of lost. And then with my Instagram, I, f I felt like when I was breaking out and when I was posting about my skin and posting about skin positivity and skin acceptance, acceptance and that sort of thing, it was maybe more relatable because I had acne and now I don't. So I feel like people don't, like they can't really relate as much. I am just like, I feel like when I had acne, like I had a purpose and I had this thing that I was holding on to and that I was giving like my all to, which I mean, I don't know if it was a good thing to give my all to acne because it, like everybody knows, we all know it can suck. <laughs> so 
I felt like I was giving like my all to it and I was always posting about my skin. I was always posting about acne products and acne this and acne that. But now I feel I don't have like that same motivation. I don't have like that same drive because my skin has been clear. I'm like, okay, what do I post about? Like I can't just like post about my skin being clear every damn day because that's gonna get old. I don't wanna just be like, oh look, my skin's clear. Oh, my skin's still clear. Oh, my skin, like, you know what I mean? I feel like when I had acne and I was trying to figure it out, that was like my main purpose of my page. And like now that I've like kind of figured it out and also figured out that, hey, I might always have acne and like maybe I don't need to try to get rid of it. Now that I figured that out, it's just, I'm like, where am I going with this? Where am I going with, with my page? That's how I've been kind of feeling like lost and like not really knowing what direction I want to go in. I have been kind of including like more fashion-y stuff because you guys know I have like, I've always been into fashion or maybe you don't know, but if you know me and you've known me for a while, then you would know I have been like, even since like middle school, I don't know. I've like always loved fashion and dressing up and it just like always makes me feel good. And I feel like now finally that my skin has cleared up, I have enough confidence to post fashion pictures again and I have enough confidence to kind of like be creative because before I'd be like, oh, I don't want anyone to look at me so I'm just gonna wear like a t-shirt and pants and like nobody look at me. But now I feel confident again and I'm like, oh, I, I don't care if people look at me, like I feel cute. And so it kind of feels good. And hopefully, I don't know if people are gonna be interested in that side of me or not, but I just, I don't think that it's really like appropriate for me to keep posting all the time. Obviously, I'll still do it sometimes, but all the time about my skin when it's clear. I feel like that's just like kind of boring and I wanna like explore more avenues and show more of my life and what I like and other stuff, you know? because again, you are not your skin. So now I'm using the RCMA setting powder. This is the original. And this is just like no color powder. I like this. I feel like it keeps my makeup like really matte and not really matte, but just like stays on all day. And it doesn't like melt down my face, which is obviously a plus. And Another thing that I was like so pumped about and I was doing so good at was YouTube. I started my own YouTube channel, my face story, but ugh, I've had so much going on in my life that, and I'll kind of explain that a little bit. And now I'm just gonna bake under my eyes because if I don't do this step, my stuff creases and like runs so bad. So I feel like baking under my eyes is necessary for me. Yeah, I feel bad because I like started YouTube and I was all excited about it and I had so many ideas. And then we unexpectedly had a family member pass away. My grandpa passed away, just kind of like out of the blue. He wasn't, he wasn't even really that old. So that was kind of hard. And then now actually we have another family member who is sick and I don't know what is gonna happen in that situation. So I've just been like, I don't know, kind of sad and kind of like losing a little bit of my motivation. And I've not like had, in high school, I had a couple of friends that passed away, but I never had, but I feel like that is good, like for this right here, sorry. In high school, I had a couple of friends pass away, but I've never had like family members actually pass away. So I just feel like that's been really hard because I have so many like thoughts and feelings and regrets and like I'm never gonna ever ever see them again and it's just kind of been making me feel like I need to spend more time in the moment like spend more time with my people and not so much time online and on social media and now I'm using the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula and shade light bronze but yeah when those people are gone like they're gone and you know there's nothing that you can do about it and it's just sad and it sucks and I wish I would have like spent more time with him and yeah I have some regrets I wish I didn't have and then it's just yeah it, it's a lot so it's been weighing heavy on my heart honestly and I mean I know like it'll get better probably won't get easier but uh, yeah, 
So that is kind of a little bit of explanation why I have not been on my YouTube. I kind of started it and I feel like I got pumped and I got everyone pumped and then I just like haven't, I've been like a little depressed honestly. Like I just, instead of in my free time being creative and like wanting to do stuff, I've just been feeling kind of like blah. But I think it's okay because you know, with everything going on, I need to like sit in my emotions and like feel those emotions so that I, I'm not like bottling up and years down the road, I'm like, you know, it comes back to bite me. <laughs> this was Butter Blush. I'm like not the best at this. Butter Blush in Vintage Rouge, which I love this blush. This is like my go-to blush. But now I'm using the Peach Glow and this is from Laura Geller. <laughs> so yeah, that's, and in a nutshell, pretty much what has been going on. Damn, look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, now I'm just gonna wipe this away. <laughs> Anybody else make like crazy faces when they're doing their makeup? There we go, yes. Other than that, me and hubby are also thinking about making some big life changes right now. And I don't wanna say anything cause I don't wanna like it not to come true or like get people's hopes up. But I am 99% sure it's gonna happen. So I'm not gonna say where yet, but we are moving probably within the next year or so. And it's going to be a bigger city, lots of more opportunity, lots of more stuff to do. And I'm really, really nervous because I've not ever moved. Well, okay, just kidding. We moved, we moved just like within an hour and a half radius though of where we grew up, but I've not moved like super far away before. So yeah, I don't know. I know it's gonna be fine. And I always have my friends and my family and that stuff, but I'm just like nervous because I feel like when you get older, it gets harder to make new friends, especially like now I work from home. It is so hard to make new friends. I feel like before when I worked out in like retail or when I worked in the food industry, it's like you all have that in common and that's what brings you together. And then from there you create friendships. At least that's how it's always been for me. And now like working from home, I haven't really like made any new friends. All of my friends are from like previous jobs or school. So I'm like kind of nervous about moving because I feel like friendships are vital to just like any healthy lifestyle. It's not that my husband isn't enough. It's just that, you know, you need other people to talk to. You can't just talk to the same one person all the time. So yeah, I, I am nervous about that. But in that same, in that same thought, you can't stay somewhere just because friends, because those friends might also move. So I'm using the Aphrodite palette and I think I'm gonna treat myself to a new palette today because I've had this palette forever and I've hit pan on like a lot of the shades and I feel like I need a new one and I don't even know if I like this one that much. It's kind of patchy a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Like the colors are good, but I feel like there's better ones out there, so. Yeah, I'm using Koi, Admire, and then maybe a little bit of seduction and blushing. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, that is my girl. We got this. Blend it out, blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. Yeah, so that kind of makes me nervous to move. And then it's like, also we're comfortable here. I really like it here and you don't know if you're gonna be comfortable somewhere else. You don't know what it's gonna be like. It's just like the fear, but I'm not gonna let fear hold me back. And we've already agreed, you know, we already agreed that if we don't like it or if, you know, it doesn't work out, then we can just move right back. Like we can always just come right back. So, you know, I'm not gonna like let it hold me back. Can't, I, that's what, another thing I've been doing lately. For a long time, I let like my anxiety and my fear of situations and of people and of just everything hold me back from doing things I wanna do. And I feel like I'm trying not to do that anymore. Um, Cause I just, I wanna live and I wanna live how I want. And I wanna be, I am happy, but 
I don't want to let fear hold me back, you know? I would always be afraid of like traveling or moving or even like, I don't know, getting a tattoo or whatever. And if it's something I want to do from now on, I'm just going to do it and I'm not going to be afraid anymore. Because there's always stuff to be afraid of. And I feel like anxiety too is like a rational fear. And like, I know it's a rational fear and you're telling yourself, oh no, I'm trying to protect you. But like, it's, it's not protecting you because you go out and you do that thing and it's fine and nothing happens. And so that's why I've been trying to do more as well is just live my life without fear and just realize that everything's gonna be okay and everything will work out how it's supposed to. Um, 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 um. There we go. I feel like I've talked about a lot of different things. Hopefully this wasn't like too all over the place because there we go hello felicia i actually do feel a little bit better i just like i don't know i keep like looking over here i don't know why i'm like kind of nervous to talk about all this different stuff because i don't know it's hard to talk about when things are wrong like it's good to talk about when things are good but it's hard to talk about personal struggles online especially because you don't know you don't know who's watching and people's intentions and all that so yeah now I am using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara I'm liking this look I feel like it looks pretty good so far so I'm gonna do the Perversion Mascara now. Probably not gonna really talk that much while I do this. Um, yeah, I have to like kind of concentrate <laughs> when I do this. Oh my god. Okay. Now for the lipstick. Too dark. I like this one. Okay. This is the Estee Lauder Bronze Leaf, which is color 102, liquid lip. It's like my go-to nude. I feel like this is my perfect nude. I can't really talk while I'm doing this either because <laughs> I have it in my mouth. There we go. That's it. There we are. This is the final look. Hello, Felicia. I like it. I think it looks cute. Yeah, I feel like this is pretty much my go-to makeup look. I kind of have been wearing my eyes darker lately. I like it when my eyes and lips kind of match. They do kind of match a little bit. But yeah, this is pretty much it. My go-to makeup look. <sighs> what else do I have to say, guys? What else? I feel like this was kind of a deep chit chat but it was good to like get everything off my chest pretty much why i haven't been youtubing as much talked about that because my grandpa's 
and other family stuff. Talked about moving, possibly. Talked about <laughs> really soul searching, trying to find myself. I feel like that is just the biggest thing going on in my life right now is who am I? What do I want to do with my life? Because my whole life in school and work and everything, I've always had people telling me what to do. So now I have to figure out what I want to do, which obviously is a great thing, but it's also very, very confusing because there's so many options and avenues and different things to try and do and explore. And I just feel kind of like, I don't know. I, I really don't know. And hopefully that gets better because it really sucks not knowing and it kind of just feels mind numbing not knowing and just trying all these different things to fill your time with because I don't really feel like super passionate about that much right now like I did with school and like I did when I had acne and like wanting to spread the word of skin acceptance and I still want to do that but I don't feel as passionate about it because I haven't been dealing with it personally for like, again, like six months or so. And I feel like also it's not as relatable as, you know, when someone else actually has acne. But yeah, I hopefully can <laughs> keep doing that. Get my spirit back up. You know, just a lot of internal work I think that I need to do right now. If you relate to this at all, let me know below. Or if you were like, wow, this, <laughs> No one cares. You can let me know that below too, but I guess you never know. So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in and chatting with me and all of that and listening to me and everything I'm going through. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe down below on the Acne channel. If you want to subscribe on my channel as well, do that. Also, I don't know, hopefully I'll post a new video soon and get inspired and create content. Also follow Banish on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, all that, and I will see you next time. All right. Bye guys.